I'm in this large park in Madrid and it's a very famous park and it's called El Retiro. I spoke to a man here and he's from Madrid and he told me that in the olden days this place was just a park for the kings. They had this whole place to themselves. There's a big lake here so this place is just fabulous. These parks, one thing about Madrid or Spain, all of Spain, if you go to these big cities like Madrid, like Barcelona, they have these parks that are just magnificent, they're fantastic. They're on the scale of like Central Park in New York. They're just amazing and people just come here and they just relax and they have a good time. They'll have festivals here, they'll have all kind of things. So you'll see just a lot of people just relaxing. They come after work or they come for during lunch hour, they might even eat their lunch here. They might just relax and, and just take a break from life. So just get out of the big city. I mean, it's within the big city, but it's a refuge inside a big city. So maybe that's why Spanish people are so relaxed. Travel at a guy here. I'm in this park, El Retiro, in Madrid, and this park is just magnificent. This monument behind me is just fabulous, and this monument was to commemorate a famous king of uh, Spain, and he was Alfonso the Twelfth. This was finished in 1920s, the 1920s. I believe it was 1922, and uh, this behind me is all to celebrate his life and his uh, his reign as the king of Spain. So it's just fantastic. And then to my right here, we have this fantastic lake where everybody's enjoying it. So it's just, just a beautiful place to come and you can visit this in Madrid. We're in this park in Madrid, this Park of the Kings, and you can see these statues behind me. And this one is Alonso I, so I don't know if this was the first king of Spain, I'm not sure. But it's the year 1134, and you can see he's got at his feet the head of a someone he must have killed in battle. So it's pretty interesting, but he was the uh, bata batallador, so like something to do with battle. I'm not sure what this word exactly means, but it's some kind of uh, conqueror. And he was the king of Aragon. So it kind of reminds me something about Lord of the Rings, and you can pan around to me. To this side of me, to my left, you can see all these statues behind me and they're all monuments and they're all monuments to all these kings of Spain, previous kings. Spain is a land of kings, it's a land of conquerors, it's a land of uh, conquistadors, it's a land of a lot of things. There's a lot of interesting things to see in Spain and especially in this capital of Madrid. Okay, we're at uh, Mandarin and uh, it's right next to this Grand Casino here in Madrid, this uh, really nice casino here on the main uh, strip and uh, they have an executive menu during the week from Monday to Thursday. It's for 1250 euros and it looks really good. We showed, just showed you the menu and uh, you had like sushi, it's a very Chinese style but it's a very upscale type style and it's just a soup just came and it comes with a uh, either a glass of wine, a drink uh, or a, you can also get a, a beer. 
and it also comes with dessert and a coffee. So for 12.50 euros in Madrid, that seems like a pretty good price. So we're gonna try this, we're gonna show it to you, and the place is really nice, and it's actually part of this casino, this Grand Madrid Casino, but you could bring in children because it's not directly in the casino. So that's very nice. Okay, so this looks fabulous. You get this um, beautiful sushi plate. Look at this. This is fabulous. You got some uh, sashimi. You got some uh, niguru. You got everything. You got a little roll, and you got some really nice stuff to mix it with. This sushi is so good. I cannot tell you. The sashimi is just delicious. This is just a really great. Let me let me try it. Just play. Uh, salmon or sashimi. Mm. Uh, it's super fresh. Just melts in your mouth, really. This whole sushi plate is fantastic. To find something like this normally, with this quality, easily 25 or 30 euros, if not higher. So this at 1250, to me, is a steal. This place Mandarin, I would definitely recommend it. If you come to Madrid, you should come here. And uh, you feel it's pretty extravagant, the place. I think it's really nice. They treat it really good. It feels, I've been to Las Vegas. I've been to some nice uh, restaurants here, casinos. I think this is definitely on the scale of that. This is almost reminds me of a win, really high upscale place. So for 12.50, it's a no-brainer. The place is fantastic. The sushi is fantastic. I have to give this place a very high rating, probably a 10. It's fantastic for 12.50 price that makes it a 10 so come to Mandarin in Madrid and we'll not be sorry.